Hello, Hello. everyone, this is Direwolf20 and... Pahamar. Pahamar! And welcome to episode 11 of Material Energy Hypercubed. Cubed, cubed, cubed. If you want. How are we doing, Pahamar? I know we, la we left off last episode. Things were, to put it lightly, a little bit rough. It was a little death-like. A little bit of death was happening. Only a touch. So, I think, what I want is Nether Ward, because if we can get Nether Ward, then we can get Fire Resist Potions, and that'll make those blazes quite trivial. Um, and seeing as we're in the Nether Sphere, like, call me crazy, but something tells me there might be Nether Ward around here somewhere. And I think I know where it's going to be. Oh, great. Um, I upgraded my longbow a little bit. Ow, I'm on fire again. Why are you going that way? I don't know. Am I not supposed to go this way? There's a safer way now. There is. What'd you do? Would you like to see it? I would. What'd you do? Where Come up you? a level. Come up, level. Come up okay. a okay. level. Sorry. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. So did you make a path? I did. Sweet. So, you notice all these rooms are spheres? I did. And it's called another sphere. Yep. So you can actually dig right to the wall. Oh. So you saw where I went down? Come on down here. Come on down. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Found a shortcut. So this little path right here is the way I found to get around a lot of the, the dangers. The death? Yes, the death. So this gets us down to the level we were at, and we're using this ineff ineffable glass to make sure mobs don't come in. But so I dug further down. We should do double ineffable glass because um baby zombies. But we can do that later. Yeah. So if you come down here, I dug this out a little bit because I was trying to figure out where we were, and I found all this ore. Or I Ooh, should say blocks. That's cool. Uh, but you want to uh, be careful because now you're opening it up to everyone. That's okay. I can replace it with cobble. But if you look around, if you look across there... Oh, you missed it. Look down. If you look across there, do you see the nether wart? Oh, I see the little thing that has probably the, the wool in it. Look look across the... It's where the nether wart is. Yeah, I do see nether wart. So, we just have to get... a million bad guys. And it also looks like a lot of pyrothium. Oh. Uh, that's not good. I thought that might be lava, but you're right, it is probably pyrothium. So that makes things a little bit harder here. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of zombies right here, too. Speaking of things getting harder. Like, they're swarming me. I feel like I'm in a zombie movie. Well, you did kind of... You did kind of dig right at them. I did. I was hoping I could kill them, but I think they're spawning faster than I can kill them at this point. Yeah, and now they're spawning in here, thank you very much. I didn't do it. Blame Pahamar. I want to see how good I got my arrows up to. Oh, that's not so good. Ow, something's shooting me. I like how this was nice and safe until you showed up. Well, I saw ores and I decided I wanted them. Come on, shoot. I hit him. I kind of want that nether quartz too, because that would be ideal. How do you figure we can get over to that nether quartz? Can we just dig through this wall? I'm digging down. Alright, you dig down. I'm going to dig through this wall and see if I can't hit the nether quartz that's presumably in this direction. Um, I wanted to get nether wart for fire protection potions because I thought that would trivialize blazes but looking down here um, blazes are the least of our problems yep I think blazes are only a problem that one level wait a sec this sir you class it's another metal block I wonder how far down I am now let's have a peek Yeah, this place is terrifying. Okay, I'm pretty far down now. Yeah. I might be able to go get the wool. I'm getting some nether quartz. I don't know why I'm getting nether quartz so badly, but I wanted it. I got some nether quartz. I'm quite pleased with myself at this point. 
and I'm on fire. That is not ideal. It's the nether sphere. What did you expect? You really got far enough down there that you can get the wool? I can probably build the tunnel over to it. Oh, you're at the same Y level, but you're not there yet. Exactly. exactly. I'm glad I made myself this new armor. Seems to be doing a good job. I chose Damascus steel, which is a combination of bronze and iron, and apparently that's a good thing. By the way, I completed the agrarian farm request while we were taking a break. Nice. Nice. Oh, I just need a little bit more of this blue metal stuff, and... That should be enough that I just completed the I'll do all right quest. You'll Get do all right. Of swiftness. I don't know if that would help you at this point. This is really scary. Oh yeah, look, that is a different type of metal. I don't know what it is, but it's different. Please don't expose. Because you scare me. I can't make any promises. I'm trying to keep them one block at a time. So I can make sure to at least harvest whatever this metal is for. I hate that this stuff constantly catches on fire. What stuff? The pyrothium? The pyrothium? Oh yeah, pyrothium is bad. So do you see my plan? Totally. Yeah, you could you could totally fill over to that thing. That's what I'm aiming. If you keep like you're getting in my way, dude. Sorry. Sorry, the troublemaker. I broke one of your inevitable glasses over here, by the way. Hmm. Hold on a sec. Something something's lagging my system. Okay. Should we come back in a minute? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. You don't want to lag over pyrothium. No. All right, back in a sec, guys. Okay, we're back. Hearthstone decided it wanted to update. Oh, sometimes. All right, we're back now. I'm poking my head out to get more dense than other quartz. There might be explosions up there. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're quite welcome. I need food, and I think a source of water would be good. What happens when water hits pyrothium? Does it do nothing? Um, I know it does something. I'm trying to remember what. You, I have food. Oh, on you really need to light up your tunnels, dude. You need to light up the tunnels. I thought this was a uh, lava brick or whatever. It should be creating light sources. It's not. Uh, it doesn't. No, and you left this wide open, so I came up here and nearly died to a creeper. Well. Your greed will kill us. Hey, nether quartz is probably useful for something. Now there's a skeleton up there. Why are you so bad at this? This is your tunnel. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the Pahi tunnel. Could you deal with it? I got two hearts. I don't even see it. Where are you? I dealt with, I dealt with it. Okay. You're bad at this. <laughs> I build machines. I don't adventure. Uh, it is evident. I made something. I'll definitely take care Tell of it. Tell you what, when we have power armor, I will let you adventure when you're invulnerable. How's that? That might not even be that good of an idea. Yeah, I still probably wouldn't trust you. No, I wouldn't trust me. Well, we've got stuff. Uh, we didn't get Nether War, but I'm less inclined to get it right now. Let's review our quest book and see where we should be at this point and then come back. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, we are back at base, dropping off our stuff. Yes. That is true. We are dropping off our stuff, and I handed in a few quests. And I'm eating potatoes. Mmm, potatoes are good. 
Yeah, we got a few quests yeah, to hand in. Oh, wow, do we ever. Uh, so you said you finished Agrarian Farmer. Yep. Ooh, sugar cane, pumpkin seeds, and cactus. The next one wants 64 cactus, cactus, 64 sugar cane, and 64 pumpkin. Oh, but it gives us sheep, cows, and chickens. Then the Elderite we got from the death area. And then Suryuklis, or whatever. Ooh, quadruple compressed okay. cookie. A dense ore. I'm getting to be as bad as you at pronouncing things. That's kind of a challenge. All right, I got three good reward bags. You ready? Uh, I will be sure. Uh, I've got, I'm working on another quest, but yeah, let's see. Uh, I got quadruple compressed cookie, yes. And I got dense Saru place ore, which apparently can smelt into three Saru clays or pulverize into cool. Uh, let me just put that in the A system. Yes, three good bags. So I got some colored coal blocks of different frequency lights. Uh, I got a quicksilver heater shield. That sounds cool. It's mine. It's got actually a good amount of material on it, so that's probably a good shield. And I got three blocks of iron. I got 21 blocks of pure love, apparently from uh, extra utils. This was 21 blocks of golden edge glass. Cool. 20 miners explosives and 20 death explosives. Awesome. And Sevidus' sword. Ooh. Which Sevitus actually is really good. powerful. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, it has... Luck, sharpness, and reinforced one. Nice. Plus 14 attack damage. I'll, uh, I'll just put that there. Hit me, Pahamar, with a sword. Try again. Nice. I did like nothing. That's kind of cool. All right, we should have another quest done. What quest is that? I know Lashite. Say again? Ooh, it gives you a greater reward bag. I got a match yellow heart. That's cool. That's also cool. Yeah, I got three. Oh, you're going to love me. What? Oh, Tesseracts. I got three of them. Nice. I don't know what we need them for at this point, but... Speaking of, I don't think we've even looked at our power usage in a while. I'd be interested to see how our reactor is doing at this point. It's probably reacting. Yeah, we're still 98% fuel full. Like, we've only used 1% of our fuel at this point. All right, well, I'm going back down. Okay, you do that. Now, uh, why do things keep spawning up there? I don't know. Because blame Pahamar. I'm going to look at the book real quick and see. Aside from the wool quest, which obviously is the overarching quest, um, Glowstone. Oh, I can decompose bones to get phosphorus. I guess it wants me to get Glowstone and Silicon from bones to get Glowstone. Oh, I don't know if we talked about it before on camera, but uh, have a look in the AE system. We have some broken spawners. Where do you get those? Remember when I was hunting down um, the sources of the magma cubes and stuff on this first floor? This first... Yes. So I don't know if we talked about it on the camera, so we can talk about it again at least. Um, so while digging through all this sand here, I found spawners for magma cubes and uh, zombie pigment. Right. So, dug them up, now we got them. And I think we can probably later on get ourselves a mob farm. That would be cool. Would be a good source of uh, bone. Wait, bone I wanted to grab down some into water. I don't even, what? I'm glad I'm we put up. you in charge of the chemistry. Why am I in charge of the chemistry? What? I don't see bones break, well, bones break down into phosphate, which can then, I guess, really eventually break down into 
um, boss for us. I'll be okay. back in a second, guys. I got a phone call. Okay. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Welcome back, Pahamara. I just got glowstone. Nice. I have a bucket and of water. Apparently, I'm supposed to get silicon somehow through this, but I don't see it. Calcium, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus. These are all base elements. So. I love how this mod pack, I explore I and battle monsters, and Direwolf becomes a chemist. Yeah. So silicon I can get from stone, 20%. I would assume sand is mostly made of silicon, right? Um, you could also check out quartz. Yeah, but quartz is not as renewable as sand is at the moment for us. Hmm. Okay. This yeah, is sand like... is mostly silicon dioxide. Like that's what we're gonna get. So much. All right. I guess that should probably complete the quest I just did. Hooray! Quest complete. I got us lots of energized glowstone. Some. Glowstone Florbs, which is actually really nice to have, Fahimar. That's another throwable light source. And I got a golden lasso with a mini mate of Rain Man 11. This whole sure place catches on fire so easily. Yeah, it really does. That's why I moved the bucket of water down here. Yeah. You need help down there, or are you good? I'm good. I'm actually getting pretty close. So you're doing a good job because I'm not there. Pretty much, actually. Ouch. If you can manage to get yourself towards that nether wart, or I can actually try. That's what I'll do. I'll try and get the nether wart. So I think I just basically have to keep going where I was going and loop around. And I should be able to at least... All I need is one and some soul sand, and then we can set up a farm. We got loads we got of soul loads. sand. Do we? Yeah, we got a bunch last episode, didn't we? Well, that's all that first level was. Just pure soul pure. sand. Oh, I just got plus one haste on my uh, pickaxe. Oot. Oh man, you know what? This makes me wonder how the uh, next level is going to be. Yeah. Right, I'm relatively close to where. So much fire! It's the nether sphere. I'm okay. Of course you are. And there's a spider up there too. Of course there's a spider up. Right, I'm gonna try and go through a little bit deeper. I feel like I'm definitely on the outer edge of the nether sphere right now because. Yeah. Sweet. There's a wither skeleton shooting me with exploding arrows. There's nothing fair about that. But I killed him. That's right. He died. He did? He did. Oh, I got plus one haste on my longbow thanks to an upgrade I just got. That's awesome. Well, I just got the wall. Haste is like the best thing to get on a longbow. No big deal. Yeah. 
You seem so unimpressed. What'd you do? I tunneled over and I got the wool. That's what I just told nice. you. Nice. Well done, Pahamar. I'm kind of a big deal at this. You are the biggest of deals. Pahamar's patented um, tunnel to victory. Seriously. I'd like to get a better perspective on where. So many of these metals, too. Oh, baby zombie. See, I knew I could sneak into here. I feel like I'm really close to another one, I just can't see it, and... I can't see your name tag, unfortunately. I saw an explosion near you. Yep, you certainly did. Alright, uh, so you got the wool, huh? I got the wool. Alright, I'm gonna try and get this nether wart. I just wanna wait a little bit for my health to recharge before I give it a shot, so... Let's see. Alright, I do see where the nether ward is. I think I might be able to get there by pillaring down and around. Actually, it looks kind of clear at the moment. Nether ward attained! Nice! Alright, you want to meet back at the observatory? Sounds like a good plan. Okay, see you guys there. Uh, I came up with a way to make soul sand, Pahamar, because we do have that, like, gray frequency soul sand stuff that we found, but mm -hmm. unfortunately it looks like you can't plant nether wart on that stuff. Oh, so it's just decorative. Yeah, so um, I found a way to get all the chemicals we need to make it from mine chem. So it's three lead, and then it's one beryllium. So lead obviously comes from lead. Um, beryllium I got by, you know, all the blocks that we just got a ton of? Yep. So that's, um, that was actually neat. I want to show you guys how I got that. So all those nether bricks that we got are from chisel and they're just a version of like regular nether brick. And that, when you break it down, breaks down into like 20 different things randomly, but some of it's beryllium that you can get. It's like a chance based thing, I guess. I don't know, but that's how I got beryllium. Two silicon and one oxygen. So we know how to make silicon and oxygen. That's really easy. It's just sand and oxygen. We were getting from water and a bunch of other things. And that should allow me to get, nice, seven soul sand. I'm actually going to teach that recipe to this thing because I want to make sure that this thing knows how to make soul sand. Um, I should probably teach it how to make nether wart too, though that's not really that useful. But anyway, we now know how to make soul sand. So yay for us, kind of. Yay! This is my favorite part of the watering can, is you can watering can soul sand <laughs> and nether wart, because that makes sense. So, so, hmm. We have a problem. Go on. And the problem is, is we can't hand in the wall. Why can't we hand in the wall? Because there's quests we have to do first. Go on. Like making a crafter. Apparently. Where? Nether wart Nether is one wart. of them. Witch water. We need 10 buckets of witch water. Did you ever figure out why you're not an op, by the way? I have no idea. Alright, because I want to get that lava fabrication thing going, but we can do that later. Um, so, we have to do witch water? Witch water we should be able to do. We, there was plenty of witch water in there. Didn't we get some? No, we blew it up. We need 10 buckets, we got some of it. but you, you're using both tanks right now. Am I? Yep. Yep. I mean, we can make another tank. It's one piece of copper and some glass. 
There, I made you a tank. See how easy that was? Thank you. you. Great tanks right now. I don't even see the wool quest. Oh, there it is. So, auto crafting, I presume? I can make a craft. Do you want me to get started on just doing the crafting stuff real quick and then we'll come back? Sure. And how about I go and get the dangerous things because you're so scared? Uh, that is totally cool with me. Apparently, I see a bucket of blazing pyrothium. So, if you want to bring some buckets with you, like, let's assume it's going to want 10 or 20. If you can bring that many buckets with you and pick that up, that would be ideal. Cool. Yeah, just let me go and do the dangerous things. Yeah, you do the dangerous things, and I'll stand here and use a crafting table. This sounds like a totally fair breakdown of responsibilities. Oh, by the way, in order to get a crafter, I need to make a slice and splice. A what and what? Slice and splice. It's a thing. Uh, I need solarium for that. I can make solarium. Uh, I just need gold and soul sand, so I'm going to have to... I wonder if I can. If that soul sand we got is ore dictionary. That would actually be a very good question. The thing that stinks is I need the witch water first. Apparently. Well, you volunteered for the dangerous work. Can we make witch water? Do we have mycelium? Um. Oh. I wonder if we damaged our supply too much. I'm sure, we can figure it out. All right, I have to make more soul sand, so we will be back in a minute when I'm done crafting things. Okey doke. Okay. All right, back to getting more witch water, because I forgot my crescent hammer. And I'm on fire. Right. Of course I'm on fire. I crafted a bunch of stuff. And I'm just prepping for... Um, I should be able to make a crafter here in just a moment. So, in getting the witch water here, I did this off camera because there was lots of zombies to fight, as evidenced by the fact I'm fighting tons more. Um, right. We didn't have a lot of witch water here because uh, we blew it up. But I found that there's another spot where we can get it. Loads of it, in fact. Oh, really? Where? Um, and once I can pass these zombies, I can show you. Basically, remember how in the rotunda there was that giant area where they had a tank full of lava? Yes. Well, this one's got a giant tank full of witch water. Sweet. So, I think that kills the zombies. Anyway, to, to get there, I had to get rid of your lava. Oh. Your precious, precious lava. Mm. Right. I, don't, I don't know if I agree with your decision. Well, you don't have to agree with it, because it's done. Alright, so apparently they want me to make a farming station next. And that's a problem. Why is that a problem? Uh, well, because I need diamonds, and I don't have any diamonds at the moment. I wonder what's involved with mine chem and getting diamonds, because... I would, I would think hazard a guess just... it's very involved. Well, no, it should just be coal, right? Put coal in and you're done. But no, you need carbon nanotubes. Three of them. Chemical synthesis machine. So I guess that's the best way to do that. Carbon nanotubes are made from... All right, so I need uh, four stacks of carbon, which I can get, I presume, from coal. It should just be coal, like in theory, right? Because carbon is carbon. So let's get coal and see how many stacks. I need to get four stacks of coal. All right, so it looks like if my math is correct here. So that's half a stack will get you one carbon nanotube. Roughly. I need three of these to get diamonds. Okay. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do this. You'd probably would be right. 
We didn't find any diamonds in any of the mining ages we've had so far, have we? Not yet, no. Just other very expensive ores. Right. Because that gets me one diamond, and I need, like, more diamonds, I think. I mean, if we went back to mining and got like a ton of gold or copper or, or coal, um, yeah, that's one thing, but. Okay, well, I got us witch water. Cool. I don't have it handed in yet, but I need to go get my other container. Pyrothium, that might be interesting. Well, I got one diamond. How'd you manage that? Diamond magic? I'm like four stacks of coal and diamonds. <laughs> um, Alright, let me dig around here a little bit more. Do you want to come back in a minute? or? or that sounds like, that sounds like a plan. I need more torches right. anyways. Cool. I mean, I should be able to chemically decompose those diamond things that we have, but I didn't want to go with that route just yet. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Well, I trust your science-y stuff. That makes one of us. <laughs> okay, we'll be back in a sec, guys. Okay. Alright, Bahamar, I did another quest that I'm very excited about. Nice. Yes, it's one called Lost Souls. Do you know what we just got? My death. We just got your death. Um, we also got a very nice little gadget. What gadget? A soul fragment. A soul fragment. Yes, it allows us to make a very nice uh, watering can that can be automated, but it requires bedrockium. How are we going to get bedrockium? Uh, you can compress cobblestone all the way down to it if you want, um, but you need like a huge amount of cobble. Like how much? Like... Um... One octuple compressed will give us nine bedrockiums. So, a septuple. Well, no, because it, you have to smelt the octuple compressed cobble. Ah. Uh, and it'll turn wow. into a block of bedrockium. I was in my little safe level. spot. Direwolf to the rescue. Possibly. Where were you? Um. Alright. I need you to distract them. Follow me. Oh, it's actually not that, that dangerous of a spot. I did get the last okay. spawner. Oh, you got the last spawner? Nice. Yeah, although I think there may be some more fun times to be had. Oh, actually, let's go I this way. Fun times. Do -do, nothing bad is going to happen to me. Maybe you, though. Okay, not like I need anything I have on me except all of it. All right, I need you. See where that creeper yeah, is? Uh huh. I need you to go out there and kill the mobs around there so I can get to my gravestone. Okay, I'm on my way, Bahimar. Tell me when you're no, safe or no, the you're, going you're totally going the wrong way. Am I? Well, they were coming at me from outside, so. Yes, yeah, see the gravestones? Yes. I just got lifesteal on my sword. Okay. That is awesome. I'm good. Okay. Let's get out. Ooh, okay. Yeah. We got more quests we can hand in. Yes. I think we got the witch water one. You completed that, I presume? I haven't completed it, but well, it's done. I can hand it in. Conveyor belts. Okay. And necrotic bones. Sweet. Oh, I have to pick one. On. You have to. What? It says choose reward. Oh, I didn't have to do that. Oh, no, something's lagging my system. Is this the Blizzard updater again? Probably. Also, because of my Netherwork farm, I think I have a Netherwork quest that we can probably hand in in a minute. Okay. But we might have to wait till next episode for that one because you need 20 Netherwork, and I only had four when I planted them originally, so I doubt. Oh, I know why it is. I don't. I don't have inventory room. Oh, that's why.
Let me just put my gear back on. Yeah, we'll do the Nether War quest next episode, I think. Um, but that'll get us a stack of soul sand, so that'll be cool. Um, we need wither skeleton skulls. I don't think we've gotten any of those yet, have we? We have not. I know we've killed a couple wither skeletons, but I don't think we've gotten any skulls from it. Um, blazing pyrothium. We need five buckets worth. Did you manage to get that? No, I did not. Okay. Uh, solarium, which I'm pretty sure I've got five of that at some point, so... All right, uh, which one? Hand that in. Then let's see, auto crafting you did. Yes. Amber wool. Yep. It did not come that. with a spatial I.O. Really? The rewards are a red heart canister and a reward bag. That kind of surprises me. Me as well. So where else is it? I thought wool basically means, like, you got the wool, there you go. Yeah, next zone. <laughs> That's kind of what I was expecting as well. I'll go ahead, my... Oh, I think I finally tied you. Nice. I got the quest for the Soulbinder, the Solarium. Oh, you tied me for deaths? Well, actually, no, because one of these heads actually belongs to Blorf. Okay. You guys just happen to have the same skin. Gotcha. Imagine that. Um, it's unlikely. All right, I think we come back next episode. I might even do a few quests between now and then that are, like, crafting-related. You don't want to open uh, your bags? Open your bags? Okay, we can open our bags this episode. We have a lot of bags to open, by the way. Ooh, I got, oh, ho, 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 my greater reward bag. How about yeah. five full stacks of world interaction upgrades? Wow, that is a lot. Uh, I got a generic beehive. 12 flint throwing knives. I got a couple compressed cobblestone, so, you know, there we go. We're on our way. <laughs> I got obsidian, a stone slab, cobweb, and a blue orchid. I got a blur fed. I got a hypnotizing trinket. 25, 25 saltpeter block, 5 cookies, and a golden shield. Alright, I got a bunch of junk. I got a wooden excavator. How boring is that? I got florbs, that's kind of cool. All right, so I'll do some crafting between this episode and next. If we can, Pahamar, I would love to figure out if we could just get that lava fabrication thing taken care of um, and a couple of other quests that we can probably do that are just more off-camera crafting-related stuff. And then we'll come back and see what we need to do to find our way. Oh, we have something in Bake to Win that we can hand in. Zombie killer. Sweet. I killed zombies. You killed zombies. Yep, and I got a triple compressed cookie for it. I also got a triple compressed cookie. Cool. I still have two quests with unre unclaimed rewards. Oh, Lost Souls and Solarium. There's a quest we need to create an augment space-time flux unifier. Oh, I got three colored blocks of coal. I just created. I just completed a quest that got us an IO. <laughs> oh, what one? Uh, it's in the Lost in Time quest series. I don't see where it is. It's the it's like a the whole new area. Oh, lost in time. There it is. Yeah. Space time manipulation. Nice, a green heart canister. Yeah. Woot woot. Maybe we'll check that out next episode. What's the name of it? Reflection of space. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Lots of cool stuff to check out next episode. Yeah, definitely. All right, guys, for now, Darwell20 and Potmar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time to dip around a bit more in here. Hopefully we can find out where we can get diamonds from that doesn't cost, like, stacks and stacks of coal. That would be ideal. Seems fair. Yeah. All right, guys.
Take it easy. Bye.